Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing what are the career options for a B.Tech, ECE, Electronics or Electrical Engineers. We will be discussing the thoroughly the companies that hires Electronics or Electrical Engineers. So before going further, please do subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and you can follow us on Instagram. So let's move forward. The first thing you should know where your interest lies. You have to analyze in which field you want to go. The first is core job. The second is non-core job or the third is government job. Often the fourth is you can open your own startup or the fifth is higher education. So we will be discussing thoroughly all the five options the first core jobs we will discuss today and the remaining non-core job and government job we will discuss in second part and the third part will be how you can open your own startup and higher education here we will go for the core job when it comes to the core jobs there are three segments the first is vlsi the second is embedded and the third is communication first we will see the embedded system the embedded system is divided into two segments that is iot or robotics basically the embedded system is nothing inbuilt circuitry like if you have seen Arduino or Raspberry Pi, these all things comes into embedded system because in one chip everything is in built RAM, microprocessor, microcontroller. So that's why we call it as a embedded system. The segments of embedded systems are IoT and robotics. Robotics and IoTs are the vast field where there is a numerous opportunities for embedded engineers. For that, you should well aware of microcontroller or microprocessor, and you should know programming languages like C or C++. These are the basic programming languages. After that, if you know these programming languages then you can go for the embedded C which we use basically in Arduino that is easy we will discuss in Arduino also in the coming lectures if you are interested in embedded system then you should must go for the IoT courses the top companies hiring embedded systems are Microchip, Ultron, Cypress these are the top companies and many more companies are there let's move to the next one that is VLSI in VLSI also we have two fields that is front end and back end if you want to be a front end engineer or a verification engineer so you should be well aware of digital electronics and programming the programming is not high level you should well aware of c and c plus plus programming languages and if you know that you can go for the very log and system very log that is easily available in the nptl lectures and it is free of cost and if we talk about the back end you must have the good knowledge of analog electronics and cmos in back end the programming is not required but there is a little bit programming for the scripting languages it is not that much hard if you are weak in programming then you can opt for the back end whether you are a front end vlsi engineer or back end vlsi engineer both people get the same salary the top companies that hires the vlsi engineer whether it's front end or back end is synopsis access instruments intel and many more the average package for an vlsi engineer is 5 lakh to 10 lakh after that maximum can be a crore so let's move to the third one that is the communication for the communication whether you need a knowledge of telecommunication like for 5g 4g if you are electronics and communication engineer you will be going to study this in your third year or fourth year next is the optical communication for optical communication you should have a good knowledge of optical fiber and ethernet the average value of an optical communication is around 2.5 lakh to 5 lakh and the company which has the optical communication engineers are Geo, Airtel. next is the signal processing for signal processing you should have a good knowledge of signal and system analog and digital communication and the companies which hires the uh, signal processing is analog devices uh, and the average salary is around 3 lakh to 5 lakh the next is the control system for that you should have a good knowledge of network and circuits and the average salary is 3 lakh to the 5 lakh almost every industry needed a control system engineer the next is networking for networking you should have a good knowledge of data communication if you want to get a job in the big companies like Cisco then you should have a CCNA certificate which is basically organized by the Cisco if you pass then you can easily get into the networking job and the last is the plc and plc is the saturated market here is less competition as compared to other companies and here you have a good chances you can enter into the any industry plc engineer is hired by the mns honeywell and most of the industry so hope you got some idea about how you can choose your career in the field of electronic whether it's embedded vlsi communication there are many branches which the people don't know about so in the coming weeks we will discuss more it is about the non-core jobs and the government jobs stay tuned and do share this video with your friends